Hi everybody. I'm back once again. Uh, so let's see who are the early birds. Anil Dikshit, of course. Agniva is there. Nita is there. Atishi is there. Mohua is there. Awesome. Um, this is incredible. I love I love people who are punctual. Fantastic. Oh, so many. Deshupri is there. Shivam is there. So uh, just to let you know, guys, that uh, Straboni, Rajiv, I'm telling you all the names now again, as I keep on saying that later on, once the program starts, it becomes, it's amazing why I mentioned this word program. It's, it's amazing how technology is change, changing my language. Hi, Sonal. Um, so basically, the chapter is that this started as a lockdown. Uh, Shantanu Mohitra is getting bored. Let's talk to people who I learned from. I have so much respect for uh, being a Bangali called it Adda. And I think we're pretty much 10, 12 uh, Addas down the line. Uh, so just to let you know that all these Addas are available on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube channel called the Shantanamutra Experience. Um, I didn't, uh, I, I couldn't say a thank you to all of you. Um, 15th of August, um, uh, our song, uh, Apni Mati got released. Uh, Shreya, Maya, and Swanans, thanks for all the love. Um, love to do things uh, uh, sometimes, which is not about cinema, but uh, just straight from the heart, from the artist to the audience. And Apni Mati was one of them. Hi, Tama. Hi, Suranjit. Hi, hi Jaya. Hi, Rashmi. Hi, Aruna. Hi, Bishu. Uh, uh, Bishu Deep Chatterjee, is, I, I, it's amazing how this incredible engineer is there for every talk. And it's um, incredible how he knows all my guests, because most of them he's introduced me to. Uh, so well, today's guest is uh, someone very, very special to me, and I'm sure to all of you. And it, it's ironical that Pretty much in the 90s, when I was thinking, what will I do? Should I become a banker or should I become a music composer? Do I get to earn any money being a music composer? What's going to happen? You know, Delhi guy, don't know things around, nothing. These two names were constantly on the radio. As it was a female song. It would be either Kavita Krishnamurti or Alka Yagni. And it's amazing that my first movie, which didn't get released, and I'm sure... There are many such stories of many such composers who first movies don't get released. That song, one of those songs was sung by this legend, Kavita Krishnamurti. And I just had an insight as to how she approached that song. And since then, I've become a fan. And of course, she's her volume of work is just dizzying, not just films, even outside films. And um, now, incredibly, her son, Ambi, and me are very good friends. And so it's a beautiful, small world. But uh, it's such an honor and privilege to invite probably one of the, f forget this, the art part of it, the, one of the finest human beings I have met in Bollywood, Kavita Ji. And I'm going to bring her in. Um, oh, my God. Namaskar. Namaskar to you, Shantanu, to everybody, and especially to Bishudeep also. Ah, Bishu. Yeah. So, yeah, I remember I took Bishudeep's help uh, to get in touch with you. And uh, Kavadaji, tell me one thing. I was, uh, uh, sometimes do you ever look into the internet and see the number of songs that you have sung? Ah, uh, you know, that's a very tricky question. <laughs> The reason being there are sometimes when I go to internet and see some of my older songs, I hide my head under the blanket and say, oh God, did I sing this? Who, who made me a singer? I'm so lucky. <laughs> Honestly, no. you know, some of my songs, which I'm not very happy about, I pretend that it's not by me. And I pretend there's another Kavita Krishnamurti, invariably because sometimes my name gets spelled as THY. And I actually, know that. Why? So uh, I can say, no, THY is not me. It's <laughs> no, but we'll not talk about those songs. We'll talk about the songs which we have. When I, if all of us, today, the audience is there. We have grown up. This is like incredible. Vishwadeep says hi to you. In fact, I will try and uh, pull up you his. Know, uh, I a bhajan for me, and he did an album for me. It's It's been one of the most memorable albums I've ever done. And I can't tell you how beautifully and sincerely he worked for that album. You know, yeah, just... that's Bishwadi for you. He's saying hi to Kavita. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um, so what do I usually do in these addas, uh, Kavita? Yes, and I'm very selfish. Is that 
you have to understand kavita ji i have we i have heard you on radios on cds on cassettes and it's amazing that now you're sitting in front and if and i i never forget the fact that before being a music composer i was fan i was a fan you know Thank so you. i'm going to ask you questions which i have always imagined in my head that if some day i get to meet you i can go to ask these questions and the good part about this is that so many people who are watching this i'm sure also would like to know and these are the questions as a composer of course i'm going to ask but first and foremost i have often heard your reference with this legend called mannade yes what is the story kavita ji tell me about you and mannade well uh, when i talk of my first meeting with mannada mm. my thanks has to go to hemantoda because hemantoda came before mannada ah and, uh, and in short i'd like to tell you that i met hemantoda when i was in college and i sang for a college day function and ranu is my colleague ah. so uh, after i finished i sang jai aap kahan jayenge those days you know in college you sang some asha ji song or lata ji song beautiful and uh, after the concert uh, in the quadrangle in st xavier's i remember ranu bringing me to her father and saying this is sharda my name is sharda by the way yeah and so is my wife yeah so mm. mm. she said sharda so i touched his feet and all that then he, you know how him with as a man of few words he said amar me to amar sathe gai bina you to bangla jano you speak bengali i said yes he said my daughter of course both doesn't want to sing with me so i will you come along with me for concerts mm. and my mom and he was also there with me my bengali mom mm. my eyes almost came out i said of course that i'd love to sing with you mm. then i started my concerts with him and oh. in that process he one day picked up the phone and i was in his office in uh, in in his house in car to take the money for a concert after i finished had gone he said come and get your money for the concert mm -hmm. in fact he actually called manada oh. he said manada you have been looking for a girl to sing for you on stage and i had just the right person in front of me mm -hmm. uh, this uh, you know he said from a number key telephone number you know that so those days landlines so i gave the number mm -hmm. and he said okay so he gave manada my number and that's it and then after a few after maybe a couple of months or so i got a call from manada's you know shamra who used to play uh, the bullet or pasatwa everybody seen him on television through the show often so shamra ji called me and said uh, manada ka program hai surat mein आपको चलना है टिकट टिकट हम कर देंगे मुझे आप पता है कि आपकी मम्मी भी साथ आएंगे तो ये दिन है तो एक दिन पहले जाना है नॉट दैट सो वी रीच आई रीच द डे ऑफ द शो इन द मॉर्निंग आई रीच हैड लंच वंच एंड इन अराउंड 3:30 आई गॉट अ कॉल सेइंग मनदा वांट्स यू इन द रूम फॉर अ रिहर्सल ओ माय गॉड इन द रूम एंड देयर वाज दिस मनदा आई यू कांट टेल यू हाउ स्केरी इट वाज बिकॉज़ मनदा लुक्स लाइक अ मिलिट्री कर्नल यू नो दैट एंड इट्स गॉट अ थिक नेक It's like when you come in, he just looks, <laughs> and he said, "Bosho, Isho, Bosho." Then he said, "Namaskar to Mamni." We both sit down, and I'm like, "As if I'm going to do this." Eight singing on stage. Those days, I used to really feel that when the song is going, I'm going to run away from it. I was very derpok, a certain derpok. Hands cold, and you know, Manada, he's just singing. He says, "Ki, gaan, uh, tumi to Bangla jano." He said, "Yes." उटिंग It's very of course, of course. I was struggling to get clarity on the high notes, and I learned the song, and then I rehearsed the song with him, and then went up on stage, sang my Bolve Papi Hara. I think I sang Bolve Papi Hara, or I used to sing Allah Tere Naam and Aaja Tere Si. All my solo session. Mm -hmm. I think the duets came on, and my first song was Yeraat Bigi Bigi on stage, and then I sang subsequently some more songs, and after that for eighteen years, Shantanu. 18 years with manada my god what a beautiful relationship what and what a what a bible to learn from and to be close to you know the thing is one thing i tell you about all the gents those singers of that generation including manada even they used to have seen the same quality i've seen the same quality in talat saab you know they even they never took even their stage concert for granted 
they would have their harmonium and there was so much of seriousness and with manada what used to happen is suddenly he singing tum gagan ke chandrama hmm. and he'll start an alap and then he say go oh god now i i must tell you that i don't come from a family of musicians my father was a government officer so i brought music from a master ji and the practice that limited practice that singing rak lakili one or two you know medals here and there in singing that's it but it's it, there's no backlog of great classical music heritage and all that of course so for me at that stage when i was in college just to suddenly start an alap these were not things i'm used to you know so it was a so quite probably, i mean I, if i were you i would pinch myself every day himant mukherjee introduces us to manna day does yeah. it get even more any more bizarre for a young kid who wants to sing this is just incredible yeah, that's why you know shantanu there is a very important factor in my life and there's one song which i love because of that nothing comes from nothing, nothing. Nothing ever could uh-huh. somewhere in my youth or oh, childhood. I must, must have done something, something good. That's what I said. In my past life, it's not this life. My right. past life. That's why I met these great people. And I will add to that that um, you take care of the past life part of it, but this life I can say with authority now that I'm a composer. That you have done some incredible things in this life. which is why we all love you so much kavita ji in fact now that we are talking about manna day i will uh, i will uh, uh, i will be greedy enough to say can you sing something of G- manna day something that you would like to sing of manna day anything oh gosh he uh, let me tell you even on stage you suddenly used to improvise whatever he sang and he's mm-hmm. one of the most serious serious approach to music mm-hmm. you know and um, there are so many songs of his which i love and i'm always scared to sing his songs but one song which i am going back to my childhood in delhi days by the way i am also a delhi girl so you and me have a lot of common yeah the bombay dream like you and yeah. i remember one song as a kid which is whenever i used to be playing pitthu or whatever kancha outside pitthu. oh my god i'm hearing pitthu for such a long time oh my god wo jo gana radio mein aata tha sab chhod ke main bhag aati thi and that song to say और सच्ची मैं बोलती हूँ एज ए चाइल्ड मुझे बहुत आई नेवर अंडरस्टूड डेप्थ ऑफ द वर्ड्स बट सम कंपोजिशन यूज टू मेक मी क्राई एंड दैट वाज दिस सॉन्ग पूछो ना कैसे मैंने रहने ताई पूछो ना कैसे मैंने रहने ताई युग बीते जरा dar 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 you go be the the song is to make me cry beautiful beautiful uh, you can't stop it. you you have to three four minds you're saying please sorry that when he sang this in mehboob studio hmm. i think uh, shochinda was sitting you know not in the recorder's cabin you know you have a singer's cabin in the hall correct the recorder's in between that there is a passage there is another door where people come in in mehboob studio and that's why lakshmi ji also used to sit to listen to his song and he was literally in tears i believe he was sing, sing that antra na ra 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 you know oh, i don't remember the words okay sorry i'm so sorry that's okay that's okay that's okay um, uh, uh, sing that um, you were singing that day last time when we were doing that amphan thing shri mohashundhu oipa opar can you sing and before i sing that song can i tell you a small story that is you are here for stories from the last visits to manada in bangalore mm-hmm. you know about 93 years old and he uh, auntie had passed away and very shocked as to go and visit him mm-hmm. so he's sitting quietly you know after auntie passed away he was kind of a broken person mm-hmm. and i i had been listening to mohashindu ropar we saw, i went to him and i said manada how beautifully you sang this song yesterday i've been listening to this song it is just there in my head you know he started crying he just looked at me he says uh, Ki bolcho kavita? What are you saying? You saying that I have sung the song well? What? I haven't been able to sing anything in my life. And he started crying. Mm-hmm. You haven't heard this song from my kaka. You haven't heard my kaka singing this song. When I think of all that music, kavita, I haven't. I haven't. I mean, to kichhoi korte palla na. This is what his words in Bengali. And I started crying, Shantanu. Mm-hmm. Somebody like him, so humble and. never gave importance to his own music he never thought that he was the greatest artist you know never every time i would go he would talk about other artists saying you know how rafi sahab has sung this song if i had rafi sahab's voice 
And there I would have been. This is the way he used to talk. My God. Amazing. What, like one minute, let me just put a little bit of... Yeah, time. you do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Guys, just want to say you when you when you're dealing with a great artist like uh, like uh, Kavita ji, she does not need a microphone, she does not need reverb, nothing she needs. And this is what I love about artists like her. She, you sing because you feel like singing. Mm. Technology will take care of the rest. <laughs> One minute. Huh? Sure, take your time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you what so song, much. What song you've grown up listening to? I, I, I'm biased, but I will tell you one thing is that for me, huh. um, I have never, Manna Day for me is something else. And I'll tell you the reason as a composer why I say that. Hmm. Um, a lot of people make a song sound technically difficult. Yes. Yeah. Probably he's one of the few people I know who makes the toughest of songs seem so approachable as a common man. Shadhanu, you've got it in a nutshell. Absolutely amazing how you've got it in a nutshell. That shows what a deep thinker you are in music. I I'm astounded how simply he presents a song. Only when you sit down to sing, you realize, oh my God. Yeah. And you know what? He could do so much more with his voice, but he just he just limits himself and he just does the right amount, the right amount necessary, isn't uh, it? Absolutely. And uh, and 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 another thing is that um, um, I, I think this whole thing about classical bass, non-classical bass, unina shop jinishteke guliye act kore diye chhe. Mane it's as if he's just made it one. Yes, absolutely. You see, he's used, he has tremendous training, but he's used it to express his songs, which, and even our twist curry when he sings it. Oh my God. His style, like Zindagi Kaisi Hai Paheri, with what style? Um, and I once, once thing, you know, when we were in the course of my singing duets with him, mm -hmm. somebody used to call me home and say, uh, let's rehearse before we go for a concert. Mm -hmm. But I remember one day we were doing uh, that song, the, the, that one. Tunga ke chandra mao. This song. So I was doing tum 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 sha. I was doing this. Hmm. He said, Can you know, just see how minutely he says, pa parsa to meet the janu ki parsa. Tuma parsahara neba ki dorkar. He says, Why do you bring in that extra note? Is that necessary? So I looked at him, I didn't understand. Oh. He said, Again, you're doing no necessary set. Okay. Oh my god, these are such minute things that's what makes them into great singers because that generation of singers used to look at their songs like that. They said, No extra notes, if something can be said simply, my god, that, instead of adding on all these extra notes which are added burdens in a song, you know. This is such an incredible thing you just said, and I'm sure people who are watching this, this is almost like, it is not supposed to be a masterclass, but it became, this example that you've given is so incredible that if you can do it, something simply, why don't you do it? But the thing is, to do something simply, you have to be the master of that craft. Yes. Otherwise, you cannot do it simply. Look at Lataji's song. You think that she sang it so freely, so easily. Then you go into the front of the mic, and you even take her simplest song like a Yes, sama sama hai ye pyar ka. Then, because the whole tonal quality is so oh my God. What a song you have just mentioned. Mm. You know, 
know all this you know all this long straight note sounds people think it's easy it's not because if you don't have breath if you don't have a steady voice and the right amount of vibrato required in that particular sound then it's not you're not going to achieve I you know? absolutely um uh, you just sang an english song which saying and the last line was i must have done something good uh, i'm taking that clue your first song you sing along with the saraswati lata mangeshkar can you tell me what's happening kavita krishnamurthy what is this happening shantanu moitra shashtang pranam to hemant kumar mukhopadhyay hemant hemant da i'm just telling you we are such a lucky generation and god is kind that we didn't have to do any pr all this for me i didn't have to do any pr i was going to college to st xavier's for my morning classes like every day Mm -hmm. just one day before i got a call from him to da saying what are you doing tomorrow you know his deep baritone voice i said i'm oh, going to college he says now nah, kalke don't go to college come straight to rajkamal studios at 9:30 in the morning that's all he told me as i told you he's a man of few words he was not going to give me any more information hmm. okay dada i kept the phone down told mamuni 9:30 sharp we were in rajkamal studios in the morning in parel somewhere mm -hmm. we reached the studio then hemantata is there musicians are all there in the hall mm -hmm. and hemantata has got his harmonium in the near the singer's cabin he says oh chechor likho dik dik write down the songs shokhi bhavana kahare bole shokhi dakuna kahare bole he says this is a tagore song i said acha i didn't know i said okay i wrote the four lines he taught me the song then he is sitting with the harmonium and quietly waiting i am also waiting i didn't have the courage to ask him why you are waiting then about Exactly about fifteen minutes later, the door opens and Lata Ji walks in. Oh my God! Kavita Ji, if I were you, I would run away. Run away? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should have mentioned it at that point. I don't know what it was, but I was just stunned. Oh my God! You know, he said, "Then I'm sorry to use the words the way I'm using because that's the way he uses them." You mean Lata Ji had a chat chat with Lata Ji? She lived before, huh? I just died. But anyway, what happened is those days you sing together, so that singer's cabin two microphones, Lata Ji ahead of me and slightly diagonally behind, and she had to sing the whole song and last four lines. I had to wait and join her, and the final rehearsal I forgot to sing because I was just watching her singing. It was like the whole. Can you imagine the singer's cabin re reverberating in the wind? She sings very softly, you know. The mic catches everything. But I'm just stunned with the way she's singing. And then when my lines came, I forgot. So Himantada from the auditor said, "What happened? You forgot to sing your lines." Now we're starting a take, so be more alert. And Lata Ji just had her specs, you know. So she just smiled at me. I think she knew what was happening. Then I sang the four lines. Finally, the take happened. I sang the four lines, and you know, I was not myself. Mamuni was also not herself. We were like, uh, I was kind of, uh, you know, dazed. I think blind and dazed. So mm. I walked. I walked out of the studio, and as I was getting out, I saw Lata Ji's Mercedes Benz coming and stopping. Cause, um, I have to go and leave. No, 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 no. It's all right. We will take a taxi and go. And she went, and instead of going towards the gate, we were walking back towards the studio. Both of us, we forgotten that we had to go out. Then Mamuni, then Mamuni said, "Hey, now this is the wrong direction. Let's go." <laughs> Many many years later, when I sang with Lata Ji one small song in Dar, where I had a few lines, and she had a few lines, mm. she said me, she told me, "Ek satra atra saal ke baad mil rahe na." She told me this. Memory, oh my God. Do you know who that is? She said, "Mujhe sab yaad rehta hai." My God. Do you uh, sab yaad rehta hai? Can you hum four lines of that Bengali song that you sang with her? You remember? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Of course, I, I love that song. I love that song. Hmm. कहारे बोले कहारे बोले तुम राजे बोलो देव रजनी भालो भाषा भालो भाषा सुखी भालो भाषा करे कौन फोटोग्राफ 
Tell me about this photograph. What is what is this? Dear, <laughs> oh my god. Guys, can you see Kavita ji? She's like a small kid out there. What is the story of this photograph? Small kid, yeah, but almost I'm almost like the ugly duckling amongst the beautiful people. Oh. I'm I was a school kid and we came for a, as for a holiday, we came for Sapno Ka Saudagar shooting. And uh, Hema ji was shooting with Raj Kapoor and Hema ji had grown up in my neighborhood in Delhi. She mm. was a close friend of my sister's. Mm. My sister's name, name is Nandita and now instead of Sharda and Kavita. Okay. And uh, she was, we, we were close friends and Hema's mother Jaya Chakravarti was a close mm. friend of my Mamuni. Mm -hmm. oh. And that's, that, with that courage we came to Bombay actually. Oh. But one of my holiday trips, where Hema's mother had arranged for us to stay in Shambhukhananda Hall, used to have very nice rooms to live in, you know. Mm -hmm. It arranged rooms for us to stay there. And we used to go and watch the shooting. Then she took us once to, that's how I went and saw once Shankar Jaikishan's recording. Uh, Asha ji was singing, Lo Ai Rijewani Jhumke Nagme Gati. On recording. Then I saw met Ravi ji. And, you know, we had a very nice time in Matunga. All those, it was my happy Bombay trip. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, um, what I'll do is now I will I will fast forward now. Uh, so Kavita Krishnamurti has now arrived in the scene, and step by step, one by one, uh, songs are coming, things are happening. Uh, a part of these chats also it to understand the state of mind of an artist, Kavita ji, because a lot of people don't understand. It's not a ready-made package, you know. It's a Kavita Krishnamurti is not born just like this. A lot of work happens and then it happens. So tell me one thing that if not music, I'm just saying professionally, you have come here, you want to sing, but did it ever occur to you that, hey, if this does not work out, is it the end of the world for me or what can I do? What were you thinking? Shantanu, the best part was I think I wasn't thinking. That was my best part. Because mm -hmm. you know what happened? It, it's just that when I was studying in college, I was seeing uh, a lot of jingles and stuff like that. And the very first person who gave me jingle was my Rakhi brother. He was Guru Dutt's youngest brother, Vijay Parikot. Vijay oh. also Guru Dutt Parikot, Vijay Parikot. Oh. Now, Vijay oh. Parikot was diagonally across my house. Mm -hmm. He's right there. And when I came to Bombay, he took me to St. Xavier's and got me admission there. And he told Mamuni, he said, Mamuni, don't worry. She will sing my jingles and you can make your money and you know, for all your kharcha in Bombay. Okay. And so I, my very first jingle, he got Gita Dadji to come to the studios. And Gita Dadji sang uh, Amul Spray in Bengali. and I remember. I remember. Uh, in Bengali and Hindi. And I sang in Tamil. So, in, so my first actually thing started with her blessings too. So I started uh, singing jingles. So... Financially, it was not a crisis for me ever, you know. I mean, I I knew I ha I could I could fall back on my family also, but I never had to. Because mm -hmm. I started singing with Hemant Oda. Then before that also, Jaya, Mrs. Jagravatri introduced me to Shambhu Senji, who was in Bombay. Mm -hmm. you know, Sami Sen's father. Correct, I remember. So Shambhu Khananda, they used to have some programs. I used to sing programs. I used to get some. Mm -hmm. Then I met um, Shant's father, Manasda. Okay. To learn from Manushda. Mm -hmm. So Manushda sometimes Yahamaha programs, then jingles, then slowly I started singing with Hemun Todar, Manada. So money was not a criteria for me. I was a very happy-go-lucky person. I had to go to come back, get the best of food from Mamuni and go to music class. If no music class, program, jingle, whatever. Mm -hmm. go to college, go to a jingle. This was my life. So I was, uh, I didn't have to worry about anything. So I never thought Hey, if I don't get successful in music, what else should I do? I remember I finished my graduation and I just before my results came in, in June, May, I went to Switzerland because my parents were there. My father was working for WIPO. Mm -hmm. And the other time, my results had not come. So my father said, now that... This is the photograph it, in Switzerland with your parents? Yes, with my parents. Yes. So my father to ask me one question. He said, now very soon your results will come. You're finishing your graduation. What do you plan to do ahead? Because one thing I know you want to do your music, but I have a seat for you in London School of Economics because I had done economics and for my London major. School of Economics. He had a seat for me because I had finished BA in economics, you see. Wow. So he had wow. got a seat for me there. He said, I have a seat for you here. So I would like you to join. So that's the time I turned around and told my dad, Dad, you know, I'm having a very happy time with music. Manada's calling me for concerts and I'm singing jingles. 
He said, yes, I can see that. He said, but are you serious about it? He said, are you? So he looked at Mamani. Mamani had also come with me for a you know, holiday. So he says, Mashima, is she OK in Bombay? So he said, uh, she said, Mr. Tishmurti, you brought, you bought a flat there. Mm. You bought a flat in Bombay now to live in. And she's earning enough. See, she's never asked you for any money. She's never had to. Mm -hmm. So she's independent, financially independent. And I think this is a very good scene. And I will be protecting her all through. I will be letting her be alone. So he said, OK, should I cancel the seat? I said, yes. Uh, just pause here. For a lot of people who are watching this, and later on you will share it on YouTube and all that, remember one thing. Here is a situation where a father who has a seat for a daughter in London School of Economics is listening to the daughter rationalize that where are you, where is your happiness? And once she tells him, he gets convinced and lets the seat go. Guys, as I said, a Kavita Krishnamurti doesn't happen just like that. It's a teamwork. If if and I know so many parents who would be devastated if the child had not gone to London School of Economics. And I think at the end of it, it's very important as parents to understand where is my child really happy? He, he could be in the best institute in the world. And, and I must add here, uh, Kavita ji, on your father's behalf, there is no way at that moment your father could have known what the future led in store for Kavita and Rishmi. It was trust and faith. Trust and faith. And one more thing I'll tell you, before I left for Bombay, when Mamani really rebelled, and she said, I am taking her whether you all did, because my my sister also, my Mamani's daughter also was not very keen that I should join Bollywood, because they were not sure of Bollywood. Why are you taking her to Bombay? And what will happen? And they, God knows if there are good people there. Same, story, are, same story in my house, yeah. yeah. But you know, at that point of time, um, uh, see, I'm getting old. Sometimes I forget what I'm saying. I, so the, oh, I keep on forgetting from the day I was born, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Even at that point, you know, my father was in the Education Ministry and Cultural Affairs. So he had access to a lot of musicians who used to come for government grants. Mm -hmm. He turned out and he was also willing. He said, if at any point you want to learn from somebody like Amir Khan oh. I can I want to learn classical music because if you learn classical music and become a classical music singer, you have a better audience because film industry, God knows what kind of audience you will get. Will mm -hmm. there be, you know, but that's the thing. I, once I reached Bombay, there was no question. And then this economic seat. So I'll tell you something. I've had a great family. And as I told you, I have two fathers and two mothers, mm. South Indian parents, my Bengali parents. And I can't tell you what support I've had from them and from my Didi. This is your, um, who, 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 this? My Mamuni and my Uncle Ji. This so is this my Mamuni, Mamuni that Kavita Ji is constantly telling yeah. about. And my Didi. Kavita and I'm Kavita because of that. Yeah, so it's amazing that actually um, sometimes um, you don't require uh, how to put it a, a blood relationship for love. It's actually a big case in point that you know sometimes a love can be just because it's love. That's it. Yeah, and I'm blessed. You know, it's it's like a as I told you, it's something from the past Janma to have this kind of a family and how much of love and affection I've got from them. It's, I'm totally blessed. I've yeah. had the father of two fathers, two mothers, three brothers, one sister. You know, it's just amazing for me. I will uh, uh, move to the next phase. Uh, every artist requires, not requires, but sometimes gets connected with something or somebody who takes out the best in that artist. And I've always looked back, and for me as a composer, I love the association of you, Sanjay Lala Bansali, and Ismail Darbar. Yeah. When I listen to the songs that you have done, there's some magic on the compositions that you have sung in this group. Okay. Um, first and foremost, I want to tell you on behalf of everybody, and it's a cliche, thank you for singing those songs. And I, will, I, I have to say you, tell you something is I was just coming, I was in fact, Bishwadeep, I was working in Bishwadeep studio yeah. when I was doing my first album, Apke Saban. Hmm. And Bishwadeep told me, hey, you know, I would love to do this album, but I'm very busy with a film called Ham Dil Dil Ke Sanam uh, with my, with my uh, ex um, FTII colleague, a, a kid called Sanjay Le Bansali. He was not the Bansali then. So, um, and um, so whatever time I get post in the evenings, I'll try and do this. Hmm. So pretty much as a Delhi guy, I would hang around the studio and I would see all of you coming and singing. 
you know the day the first promo came out yeah it was a it was a, i think a 30 second or 35 second i don't remember but there was a top shot of ashwari ray bachchan swirling and your yeah. beautiful yeah. croon um, da, 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 da. there was nothing it was just an arrangement oh my god goosebumps beautiful come yeah. what a and, and and the way he used the picturization yeah. because in cinema you have to understand kavita ji it's a great song but without a great story or visual support absolutely right so yeah. <laughs> tell me about first and foremost before you say anything can you sing just a few lines of this one that i told you humzik sir okay i'll try to ha ha dil de chuke sanam te me ho gaye hum tere kasam ho hum dil de chuke sanam tere ho gaye hum tere kasam You still sing such incredibly in pitch. Shantanu, but shall I tell you something? Please. This song, this song, I had heard a sentence in the film industry which I didn't know. Ki rag, rasoi, pagli, bolke koi cheez hoti hai. Means that rag and rasoi me jo banta hai and pagli, kabi kabi achha ban jata hai. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not something that can happen every day. When I went for the recording of Hamdil Dekh Chuke Sanam, mm -hmm. that day I was particularly tensed mm -hmm. because I'm a great one for sinus problems. There are times when I cannot hum in a song because my nose is closed, okay. hmm. and I have suffered this from many, many years. Hmm. It's an old friend of mine. Hmm. So one, I told Mamuni also. I said, Mamuni, aaj, aaj kya hoga? Pata nahi. I hope I can sing this song because ek to it's high, hmm. and you can't belt this song. You can't hmm. sing it when it's high, and you've got to do hum the chuke sanam. Oh, so ma, ma, and all those, yeah, yeah. And dominantly, hmm. and don't believe it. That day, actually, I finished the song in one hour. Oh my God! And you did, one, a, you, did Sanjay, you did a Sanjay Ban, Sanjay Lila Bansali song in one hour. I'm no Sanjay Lila, but he said okay, and Ismail Ji sing, and then Sanjay. When I came in, he said Sanjay Ji said, I said, is it okay? He said Kavita Ji, he said, अच्छा आप गावी नहीं सकते ठीक है बैठिए सुन लीजिए. You know, he told me that, and I am just, you know, I was that day when I came home, I said I believe in God. I believe in God in every turn of my life because when I'm going to the studio and I have so much of tension and fear, and we just say that said a prayer. He God, you brought me in this line. I didn't ask that I should be in music. I thought I'd be a veterinarian because I love dogs. But you brought me into music, and you've given me this life. Now you help me out because I don't. I have so you know. I've always been a you know suffering from bronchitis and uh, sinus has been my chronic problems in my life. And some of my difficult songs, I have sung it in this situation. God has always helped me. That day He helped me, Shantanu. My God, my God. That's why I keep telling all singers. It's good to have faith in your music, but there has to be some faith in the super part. There has to be some faith, some faith where you say that I am not doing it. Of course, I'm. I'm coming here. There is some work I'm doing in this universe, and I'm trying to do it. And there's somebody who's helping me do it. Um, guys, I don't want to rub it in, but this is a Padma Shri and a multiple Filmfare Award singer saying that it is. We are just an instrument. There's somebody else who is doing it, and I think the humility of You, Kavita ji, um, it's not you. Your your humility, yeah. Humility. You don't call it humility. I humility. say this. My walking stick for my entire life. This has been the help. Without this help, I could not have. You know, so many things happen in life. You know, I lost my father. Then, you know, subsequently, my I lost my brother in cancer in the nineties. Lot of things happen in life in a personal life, which brings you sadness. And then, uh, you know, even my husband walking into my life when I was about forty-six years old. Mm, yeah. When yeah. I was a bachelor, I married somebody who's so much involved in music, and I get three beautiful ready-made children yeah. in my life. Absolutely. Somebody who's helping me all through, who has helped me all through. How can I not be grateful? How can I say that I achieved all this? Brilliant, brilliant. I'll go. I'll. I'll. I'll... I'll... Because young singers go through a lot of stress. At that time, I tell them, stop it for a minute. Just say a very sincere prayer and prayer to God and say, God, 
just help me. I'm not able to cope with this. Help me at this moment. Beautiful. Help will come, you know. Help Beautiful. Will... Yeah. yeah. Beautifully said that sometimes it's just important to just pause and just pray yes. or do something yes. just to say that, you know, I am I'm unable to do. You, you cannot constantly cheat yourself that like I'm doing, I'm doing. Sometimes it's okay to say I'm, I can't, I'm unable to do it. And also the fact that you are a very important part of the universe. You belong to this universe. You have a right. You are, you're born. You have a right to be alive. You have a right to do whatever things you want your own way. There is no success story. You have a right to do what you want. So you have a right to live in this universe. And there is a certain meaning for your existence in this universe. You're Absolutely. not you're never a waste. Your life is never a waste. Beautifully said. Um, I will go back to the. I will go back to the the film. So. Um, uh, tell me one thing. Uh, there were other. You sang some other songs in the same film, from Dilip Sanam. I sang actually. Yeah, I sang uh, uh, Nimbura. Ah. Oh. Sanam title song. Then I sang Aankhon Ki Gussa Kiya. Okay, okay, okay. No applause, applause, applause. How are you? How are you? I am. I'm crazy about that song. What a composition! What writing! What arrangement! And what singing! And why I am saying singing, I'm, I'm going to talk a little technical here. Uh, huh. I love the throw of the huh. song that you've achieved. You, you are, you are not belting it out. You are, you are not throwing it completely. You have held yourself back, but your presence is so full. It's, it's supreme microphone technique, Kavita Ji. I'm sorry, I'm telling this to you because you've done it. But I'm just saying, is as a fan. Um, as a fan, it's a huh. supreme microphone technique. Only once you know, and why I say this, and the, I, the people who are watching this, is that you often wonder that, Are, ye acha gata hai. what happened to that person? We often say that. Uh -huh. And I will tell you as a composer that it's one thing to sing beautifully, and it's another thing to sing beautifully in term, in front of a microphone. Because a microphone can be your friend, it can be your enemy. Totally yeah. depends on how you treat you it. You have a voice, that's true. That's Kavita, true. Can you just tell me about this song? Of course, and I'll, I'll ask you to sing four lines, but tell me about what am I What am I saying? Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? This is Nimbura. No, um, uh, Aankhon Ki Gustakia. Gustakia, okay. Well, I think, you know, Aankhon Ki Gustakia for me was, again, like Hamdil De Chukhe Sanam, for me, it was tougher than singing Nimbura. That's what I thought. Nimbura is my solo. It has a lot of yeah. words, but Aankhon Ki Gustakia is... Uh, tough because for one thing I tell you, also when you're singing with, um, you know, when you're singing with some an artist like Kumar Shanu. Absolutely. See, Kumar Shanu, without much effort, he's, he's got a voice which comes very bland in the mic Absolutely. microphone. Now, now I cannot talk that song like that because I cannot fight in volume with a male <coughs> voice. For me to fight in volume with a male voice doesn't make sense. And you have a recordist like Vishwadeep who can pick up your levels. So I'm not worried okay. about that. But the thing is, in contrast, there is a little bit of, and you know how Sanjay is, and you know yeah. how his little Nakra is to me. Here's got his, like, you know, antenna on Sur Kesar Lagra. The violin. That's Sur Lagra Chayi. And then Sanjay is saying, like, Nakra Muna Chayi. So you're, you're handling all these multiple information. Yeah. 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 So I think, um, I think Aankho Ke Gustafiyam, if I'm not mistaken, I sang it the first time and it wasn't, you weren't happy, neither was this one happy. Mm -hmm. So I came back and read it, the song. I did it. Uh, I did this. Uh, exactly, I think my voice was speaking a little better. So I did the song the second time. I doubled the song. Um, and, 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 and I think it's a beautiful thing that you just said, and I hope people who are singers who are watching this is that you don't compete with another voice Forget male, female on volume. You actually um, become a duet and part of it through nuances, through projection, through presence. Yeah, Shanti, you know, one thing singing in the 1980s was easier for me when the male, and like even for the Rinchim Rinchim, when I sang, Panchamda had told Shanu very clearly. He said, Shanu, you are singing four songs, five songs a day, I don't care. But this song you have to sing with Kavita, she will not sing alone. She will come if necessary. You have to come at the same time. If she has to wait, she'll wait, but you have to sing it with her. So we did it together. So when you do a duet together, no, when you're in two mics next to each other, it is much more easier to communicate and sing. But here when a male voice sings, or sometimes what happens is most of the time the, the female, the the women, the girls are asked to sing first. Mm. 
even if the boy is starting the song, the girls will sing first and go away. So you have no reference point for what the interaction is. What the interaction is. Yes. I know. I get you. I get you. Uh, so if you don't mind, uh, can you just sing just uh, two three lines? And can you enter from that place? Mm, da, 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 da. What is the scale? I don't remember. Antra or the first uh, Antra. Antra. No, Shantanu, I'm a great one for remembering words. Okay, just do it from Mukra. Whatever you feel like. Just one minute, he's with this. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm, I, I stumped I'm you on this one. <laughs> I'm a terrible one for lyrics, I must tell you that. I've always sure. need to have the script in front of me. But actually, this song, I haven't sung even much on stage for some reason. But I always want, I always have hoped that and wished that you should sing this song. Okay, I'll take it half note. Oh. Oh, uh -huh. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Right. That's what, see, so so also I'm, I'm again for microphone techniques. Now here I have noticed that you have not opened your mouth too much. Not too and, much. Surprising. And, and not surprising because I know you're smart. What you have done is you realize that if I open my mouth too much, my timing will go for a six. So you yeah. you, you keep it smaller so that you get that syncopation correct. Because yes. your your singing is a masterclass. For somebody like me, because I have I have learned it from far. Nobody. Composers have no teachers, Kavita ji. Yeah. Our only textbooks are people like you. No, composers, I'll tell you something. You can't go to a school and learn to compose. It's a gift. You either can compose, I feel you either can compose or you can't compose. Of course, there is a middle, a middle lot of composers for whom I have sung a lot in the industry who were not the well-known. They were the B-grade and the C-grade music directors who never made it. They were... Sometimes they could sound like Lakshmi Jeets, they could sound, their tunes sounded normal, but it, it never rose above, you know, in talent, the day, in terms of talent, because you can't learn composition like that. You can't take a little bit of Lakshmi Ji and R.D. Burman and think I can make a song. You can't. Absolutely. Very beautifully said. And I'll just go a little back. Uh, so, Ban Sanjali Bansali, there was another beautiful film called Khamoshi, am I right? Uh, Oof, Khamoshi was amazing. Yes. And um, so, um, uh, tell me about about because that's such a beautiful and such a what an iconic song you sang in it. I tell you, Kamushi, uh, Jatin Lalit, fantastic job. Babluda, fantastic arrangements. Mm. What an arranger! Majru Sultan Puri. My memories of Majru Sultan. Majru Sultan. You know, those days were difficult days because 10, 10, 30, sunny studios were never available. And 10.30, Nadeem Shravan or any of these people had to do their full song. Nadeem Shravan had monthly bookings there. Mm -hmm. So they would have the full story. So we had to finish dubbing in the morning. It was 8 to 10. We had a grace, grace time of 15 minutes more, maybe 10, 15. But we had to do that song by 8 to 10. Okay. So 8 in the morning, we would be in the studio. Mm -hmm. I don't know how your work, how your voice works at 8 o'clock in the morning is not easy, especially for high notes. Correct. And I used to come to the studio, 8 o'clock, I come in and see Majru Saab is already reached. Mm -hmm. Majru Saab is close to 75 years old at that time, maybe, and uh, suffering from asthma also. And also the fact that this man has written for a backlog of 50 years before that for movies, but still he's there at 8 o'clock in the morning as if it's his first song. My God. The sincerity of a 75-year-old man suffering from asthma reaching at 8 o'clock and I was a very punctual person and I would also reach at 8 o'clock. Sometimes Jatin Lalit would walk in 10-15 minutes later. But then he was there, I wrote the song down and he said, Beta, dekho ye, ye words hain, aaj mein upar, aasman niche, aaj mein aage, zamana hai piche, tell me, oh khuda. He's saying, dekhiya, mene khuda kaha hai, aapse khuda nahi ka. 
उन्हें कहा मजू साहब क्यों इसे तुम बेटा खुदा नहीं कहना खुदा कहना ऐसे क्यों मुझे साहब खुदा क्यों कहूँ इसे क्योंकि वो गोनीस क्रिश्चियन लड़की है वो लोग कलो लुक एट द डिटेलिंग सो आई सर ये तो मैं कह दूंगी पर आपको पता है क्या होगा इसे स्माइल से क्या होगा बेटा क्या होगा ऐसे मैं कृष्ण मूर्ति हूँ मैं खुदा कहूंगी तो मैं तो मार खा दूंगी मुझे इसको खुदा भी नहीं कहना इसे तुम बहुत गाने गा चुके हैं तुम्हारे बारे में कोई ऐसे कहेगा नहीं तुम खुदा ही कहना सो सो दैट एंड ही वाज देयर एंड इफ आई स्टम्बल समवेयर ही सेड इस पे ना तुम जुबान थोड़ा कम खोलो मुख मुख थोड़ा छोटा सा खोलो निकल जाएगा नहीं तो तुम चाहती तो मैं बदल देता हूँ पर यू ही it will come back to me wait i want to ask him to give you the lyrics because the audience wants to listen to you and not just two lines i wanted, more. To, i wanted to tell you where i was kind of first uh, little Start, starting stucking stucking the same stumbling not with the words as such mm-hmm. but how to get the emotion out of that uh, part mm-hmm. so he was there to and he was i know he was breathing heavily mm-hmm. but you know that day i touched his feet and i said I haven't seen anybody like him because even Bakshi Sahab used to come to Mehboob Studio for Lakshmi Ji's recordings. Mm-hmm. He would come, he would stay for the final rehearsal, and when the first take is okay, he would leave because he's come from his joggers park in his shorts and say, "Lakshmi, I'm going. Sab theek hai na? Bas kavita ke words theek hai. Sab theek hai na? I'm going." Ja But this man stayed. At that age, he stayed with all his ill health. Stayed for the song. I tell you what. Oh. यू ही बिन बात के छलकी जाए से डोले जब हवा लागे गुदगुदी यू नो लागे गुदगुदी हां ये बेटा उसको थोड़ा तुम खोल दो थोड़ा इजी हो जाओ इस वर्ड पे तभी वो निकलेगा मैं बदल सकता हूं और यहां गुदगुदी वर्ड बहुत अच्छा है अगर तुम कह सके तो कह डालो दैट्स व्हाट ही सेड सो आई सेड ओके देन आई सेड ओके डोले जब हवा लागे गुदगुदी अ लगाया आपने थोड़ा सा उसमें द के पीछे करेक्ट सो दिस इज द वॉल ऑफ या बट दे दे यू टू मार्क एवरीथिंग सो मच यू नो अच्छा प्लीज द फर्स्ट लाइंस ओ पदनी आहा हा दे 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 पदनी दे 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 full composition and what what is a very important point if i would just look at the lyrics ha i would say how would you compose this line did this did you know they they seem not so much in a structure yes one so beautifully jatin the sahab have, they have put it together and, and yeah. you you're scanning your scanning of these lines is a case study the way you beautifully scan this uh, normally film songs are always on the beat that down we tell it you from off me ha one to three asma so everything is off beat in the yes. song and beautiful in a film song absolutely uh, yeah. again as i said this is a master class um, tell me one thing um, i am not the one for complaining and other you but tell me one thing that lyricists being in a studio hearing the singer sing working out nuances um, it's reduced dramatically now okay yeah. I don't it know. cannot be a good thing, right? I don't know because uh, when we sang, it was Anjan Saab, uh, Bakshi Saab, or Lakshmi Kant Pyarlal. Anjan Saab. Uh, mm. Then we had um, Indivarji sometimes, and then uh, Maju Saab, some for uh, Panchan Da, then Javed Akhtar Saab. You know, for Hawa Hawai and all. You uh-huh. know, Javed Saab coming to the studio is so very important. I'll tell you why. Mm. Because I just had Chhi Hua Hua, just a few words. Okay. Mm-hmm. The music, the musicians in the studio would open the singer's cabin and say, "Lakshmi Ji, Namaste." They sing, "Ha." Then they said, 
लक्ष्मी जी कोई पंजाबी वर्ड नहीं है इसमें क्या हवा हवाई सब क्या है इसमें कुछ पता नहीं क्या है इसे पंजाबी वर्ड चाहिए क्या बोलना है आपको कुछ लस्सी वस्सी आ जाए तो अच्छा है लिख लीजिए क्या बोल रहे हो लस्सी पिसी असी तुसी सपने में मुंबासा आया तो मुझे लगता है मुंबासा बहुत अच्छा है बहुत अच्छा वर्ड है ये मुंबासा बड़ा अच्छा फिनिश देगा देन ही सैट एंड कंपोज्ड इन दैट साइड मुंबासा यू नो सो यू नो हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज फॉर अ लिरिक राइटर लिरिक्स राइटर टू बी देयर हाउ मच दैट सॉन्ग गॉट एडेड बिकॉज़ ही ब्रॉट मुंबासा दैट इफ ही वाज नॉट देयर दैट डे and come to the sex we won't have mumbasa no? okay um, um here i'll take this songs case study a little bit um can you sing that the first abul tabul nonsense words uh, for the reason reason no. yeah two things one thing it is not supposed to be my song okay i heard that asha ji was supposed to sing it and then mukha ji told me she was supposed to sing it so i don't know it was not i was i was a dubbing artist those days for lata ji and for oh. lakshmi kanta oh. This was one of those rare item songs where they said Kavita ji, shooting के लिए आप गा दीजिए। बाद में देखा जाएगा मैं ये डब करना है, शायद आशा जी कोई गाएगा, whatever. So as Asha ji, Usha ji, I'm not sure. So I sang it as a dubbing actually, and then I rehearsed the song two days before the take and came home, and my aunt thought I was mad because she's new. She that that time she she had stopped uh, that day. She had not come for my rehearsal because by this time I had my own car and my own driver. So I went in my car and I did this rehearsal alone and came back home. So she just heard me doing chicky lucky chicky chicky lucky chum. She says, "Ki ko chish toya? Why aren't you singing? What is the song?" I said, "Mamuni, I have to say this in a song tomorrow, and it's like a tongue twister. I'm trying to make chicky lucky chicky chicky lucky chum. Chicky lucky chicky chicky lucky chicky chum. That I practiced it half an hour before my dinner that night. <laughs> oh my God! In the morning, I said, 'In the studio, I practiced it half an hour before my dinner that night.' Oh my God! In the morning, I said, 'In the studio, I practiced it half an hour before my dinner that night.' But then um, it's uh, it starts like this." Uh, I have never ever heard a singer sing nonsense words with so much passion, clarity. And, I, I, and by the way, I taste Javed Sami. I said, "My God, what a great writer! How so intellectually you have written this song." This is fantastic. Uh, thank you, Kavita Ji. I'll just come to the last. Uh, sorry. After this song, I lost a lot of my inhibitions. For item song because I used to be very scared to laugh in a mic and you know and all musicians were men no mostly men around me so I used to feel very shy to sing all these kind of songs okay. but this song broke after this I sang Tia Ghar to cheese very much but I broke my inhibition say some amazing popular <laughs> songs uh, um, you mentioned that you used to sing of. Uh, a, a, a what do you call it? you a, we call it like a dummy voice or for dummy uh, tell me one thing. Kavita ji and a lot of singers today are struggling with this. What is the state of mind of a singer who is asked to sing, knowing that this is not going to be the final voice? What are you thinking in your head as a singer? First, I have no chance of going and singing for Lata Bhi Lakshmi Kant Pyare Lal. I'm going to the studios. I'm sitting in my taxi. I'm going to Mehboob Studios where there are hundred musicians. The producers are sitting, Lakshmi Kant, Pyarelal, and I am getting a chance to sing in front of the mic live with all these musicians for these great music directors. I go to the sitting room, Bakshi Sab, all of them are sitting. My first song is Bartli ko uh, Tod De Sharab Ko Chhod De. Hmm. That is my 
first dubbing song for Lata Ji. So, and then who's going to listen to the song once I finish singing and the shooting is over? The tape is going to Lata Ji's house. Because the shooting is over. It's not that she has to follow me, but the lip sync has to be the same. Of course. So what is the state of mind? And for me, there is no question. My identity does not exist. I am only grateful to God that he's given me this fantastic chance of being able to sing. I used to do three to four songs a week, sometimes three songs a week for Lataji because Lakshmi Ji were very busy and the maximum songs were Lataji's songs. So think of how much work I got, what work experience. Can I ask for a better school of training? Brilliant. Just brilliant. Bada Dukh Dina. Uh -huh. I, beautiful song. And when I did the recording, I knew that how much I was struggling to sing one line. And I sang it. I, did, I was trying to follow Lakshmi Ji those days, of course, because it, it had to be sung exactly like that. But then I saw what Lata Ji did to the song after that. After I finished dubbing, shooting was over, and the song went to Lata Ji. And when she came in the studio and she sang it, I saw what she did to a song. So how much I learned? You tell me how much I learned. Absolutely. And what an opportunity. Uh, having said that, as an artist who is singing, is there a, from when you started singing, knowing that this is Kavita Krishnamurti's song, is there a change in what you sing and how you sing? Not really. I'll tell you why. Because till 1985, I dubbed for Lakshmi Kalpayala. And one of my first songs that came was 79, Kahe Ko Biyagi Bidesh, which they kept my song, Lata Ji didn't dub. Then I sang Tum Se Milkar Na Jani Kyu. Last child version was supposed to be sung by Lata Ji, but she didn't sing it, mm -hmm. and I sang the song. So at that time, I thought I was dubbing for Lata Ji, but my song got kept. Mm -hmm. Similarly for Hawa Hawaii, I thought I was singing it for somebody else, mm -hmm. but my song was kept. Oh. When I'm singing, I'm singing still in the same mind. Then it's only then after that, and I sang for Karma. Subhashi was so kind enough to give me a chance to sing in Karma and was my original songs. Then, but I continued because my guru Lakshmi Kanji was there, Pyari Bhai was there. I continued singing like a student, how best I could beautiful, do. Well. Beautiful. I think that's the biggest approach. Uh, you're a student. I know you have to go. Uh, one last thing I want to talk to you about before you you have a lovely weekend. 1942 love story. Mm -hmm. Now, incredibly, both for you and for me, this movie has had a very strange connection. You directly and me indirectly. I, because of this incredible director called Vidhuvanu Chopra, Absolutely. who um, once um, um, R.D. Berman uh, passed away post the film, he, he died. Vidhuvanu Chopra was looking for a Bengali director, music director. Yes. And it just so happened that I <laughs> fell into the radar and things happened. But the point here is that when I was doing Parinita Kavita Ji, his only reference to me was 1942 Love Story, R.D. Burman, Kavita Krishnamurti, um, uh, um, Kumar Shanu, because I have never seen, I have never seen that world. I've never seen that scale. So yeah. I'm a Delhi boy. So yeah. he, he was giving your examples as tutorials. And I think I know 1942 Love Story scenes as if I was there. Yes. I was not there, but the stories that I've heard. But I also know this must have been an incredible moment in your life. Uh, yeah. Can you tell a little bit about the movie and how it happened, your interaction with R.D. Berman? Uh, uh, Shantanu, for me, R.D. Berman is one of the greatest human beings I've ever met. We all know him as a very, very great music director. <laughs> but I know him as Dada. And it, he was one of the sweetest Dada or an elder brother a person could have asked for. And I remember I sang, he, he made me sing the first time for with Asha Ji, Kelvo Holi Rong Devuna. Then I sang a song from for Karishma with Asha Ji. Then I saw Hum Hai Lajwab. Then I sang Boxer. I sang a few songs, but they were all, that time his career was not going well. And he would keep saying, you know, one day when I get a good film, Kavita, I promise you a good film. In a, in a big film, I'll make you sing. And then when Love Story came, he called me from his house. He said, back, okay, I told you that you took it from Halu Chubi Degan Kutubo. Come tomorrow for a rehearsal at five o'clock. We're sitting, I'm at sitting room. Please come. And we had, I've got a very good film, Vidhu Vinod Chopra's film. Mm -hmm. I went, and the very first song he sang was Dil Ne Kaha Chupke Se. Mm -hmm. And actually, I was flabbergasted. I said, Tata, and I, you know, I was nervous. I, I told him I'm a bit of a Bhitu. I've always been a Bhitu. So I was a little scared. I said, Tata, do you think uh, I can sing this song? You know, like, it looks like a Lataji song for you, you know, like that bigger scale. I know. He said, you will sing it. 
And you just have to follow the way I open my mouth, I throw my words, and you will sing the song for me. And his confidence. And one more thing I'll tell you about him. He's one music director who in front in film center, in front of the recordist or in front of musicians, he will never say, you know, he won't press that button and say, thoda sur kam lag raha hai, isko mm. thoda ho jaye. He won't say that. He will stop it, he will come into the singer's cabin and very gently tell you, you know, to shoot kam lag chere. So so gentle and nice to all his singers. And so it was a great opportunity, and I and also Vidhu Vinod Chopra walked in, and Kuchna Kaho was happening, and Dada had a fantastic antra for me. Then he said, uh, "No, it has to be sung in the other track. I cannot make a separate track." So the whole experience of Vidhu Vinod Chopra sitting there and Pancham Dada—it was one of the biggest films in my life, and I had never got a Filmfare award till then. Not for Hawa Hawai, not for Om Namah Shivaya, none of these songs, not for Kuda Gawan, none of these films. That was the first Filmfare award I got. And the sadness was that Panchamda had didn't live to see the success of this film, and he really went uh, waiting for the success because he was he had not done well for the ten years before that. So he's waiting for the success of this film, and he never saw that. And, and here is an important uh, here is an important point, Kavya. I want to say that six seven years in that time was a very bad phase for Ardi Burman. Yeah. Now here is a man who's probably broken inside, and he's trying his best. With the movie, was he was he convinced about the music, or was he little unsure that am I on the right path? Am I? He convinced because it ladki ko dekha was had already been recorded in Javed sir. Everybody was going crazy with that song. It ladki ko dekha, mm -hmm. and everybody in the sitting room was just going crazy with this rinchim rinchim. All the songs he was making, and when he sang Kuchna Kaho and he sang the Mukhra for me, I collapsed because I'd never heard. You know, Panchamta how simply he sang the song. And the Mukhra, it just zapped me. I knew this film was a tremendous, tremendous songs. You, tremendous yeah. um, that. I think he knew that. He knew that. And I think uh, uh, what bigger blessing, um, Kavita ji, for you than probably these maestros, these geniuses, the final clarion call. You were one of the instruments which made that clarion call of this composer. You were the one of the voices. And it's such an amazing moment in your life. Looking back. <laughs> Again, again, and again, I keep saying, the, God has been totally kind to me in my life. I cannot ask for anything more from life. He has given me much more than I even deserve, and He has been kind. And I have to thank Him every morning when I get up. I have to thank God because He has been so kind to me. I will be uh, again. Last, Julie will end the session by just. Can you sing? Uh, 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 in fact, I'll do. Can you do a mashup of? Can you start with Rim Chim Rim Chim first? A few lines of that, and then we'll go to the other one. I love that song. And you know what is great about this song? That that time I was in Delhi when I was listening to this. You know the song has a at a bheja bheja It's a, it's a, it's a wet feeling that is there, and it's not the arrangement. Of course, the arrangement of the words, even the way you've sung it, it's like at a sheet ko chakta. You know, it's like this, this feeling is there in your singing, which is and I don't know how you have done this, Kavita ji. Anyway. Visual. No, you just have to follow Pancham Da the way he sings. If you do eighty percent of what Pancham Da sings. The way he sings, you feel copy him eighty percent. Your song is a success. You don't have to add anything to it. That's what I feel. Oh God. Oh, चलते हैं, चलते हैं। awesome, 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 amazing. And I will not let the rage go. The other song from Nine Front Love Story, which was your. <laughs> चुप कैसे ये क्या हुआ 
कैसे क्यों नहीं लग रहे हैं ये धरती गगन मैंने पूछा तो बोली ये पगली पवन प्यार हुआ चुप कैसे ये क्या हुआ चुप कैसे नेक्स्ट लाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्या था ंग <laughs> Yeah, and he says that it really used to freak him out. That this girl is doing crossword puzzles of Times of India, which nobody can attempt. Well, we should say that I've lost my gift now because I've stopped doing it for so many years. My life has changed. So I don't. <laughs> I still choose my favorite thing: Times of India crosswords. Yeah. How oh, is that? So it's yes, yes. And um, I just want to say that um, you've not just been an amazing singer. I mean, artist, amazing icon. Uh, I, now that I am interacting with the children, you're an amazing mother. Uh, Dr. Subramaniam looks very happy. So you're an amazing wife. <laughs> so thank you for doing this. So much to learn from you. And I hope when I come to Bangalore, I can go there and I'm going to buy it to. I'm going to eat the hobby or eat the hobby. Hobby, two sides hobby. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to when he comes to Bangalore to my house. And uh, you, if you want to say something to your your, uh, so many of your fans are here. I'm oh, sure. I've been watching this program. I'd love to, you know, thank them for their love and support. Because with their, without their passion and love for music, we wouldn't have existed. And after so many years, it's twenty, almost seventeen years. I'm not singing for a movie, but they still remember me, and they still remember my songs. I'm so grateful for that. And thank you, Shantanu, for everything. And I want to end with a note that, as a singer, people who are there, people don't remember you for the number of songs you have sung. People remember you for the song that you have sung. and there's a big difference in that and i think kavita krishnamurthy actually symbolizes that quality thank you so much awesome have a wonderful weekend and hasta la vista take care everybody thank you thank you so much thank you bye bye